Hello. Uh, just two more to go. I uh, won't be too long. Uh, we're, ORI in Ireland is uh, at a particular important point in the conversation, so um, which could emerge as a promising practice of ORI or something completely different. And we're not the ones, Science Gallery Dublin, who have complete control over this. So we wanted to uh, talk to you guys a little bit about the situation and give a kind of snapshot about Ireland uh, at the moment, um, and then also talk a little bit about some of the practices that uh, we either do in the Science Gallery, because uh, like someone else said in the previous sessions, we should all be practicing what we're preaching, um, and then also ones that we've come across or known about. Um, oh, yes, that's not. <laughs> so just in case anyone didn't know, Science Gallery is a place where uh, science and art comes together. Uh, the target for our audience is 15 to 25 year olds. Um, oh, that skipped ahead. So uh, this is a picture from a module that we teach in Science Gallery as part of Trinity College broad curriculum offering, uh, which is called the Ideas Translation Lab. It's not a new thing that we've been doing, but we want to align it more with uh, what we've learned from ORI and kind of take that into it. So uh, this was 2015's class. Uh, what it is is an opportunity for humanities students, art students, and science students to come together while they're undergrads and work for 12 weeks on something completely new. The theme for 2015 is uh, Future Farm, and that's also the theme for 2016. So from the learnings of 2015, we can really pop them into 2016 very easily. Sorry, also popping on the mic. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, what we want to do is bring in ORI lecturers to this realm um, and also collect information from the students themselves because although this is going to be the sixth one that's coming up in 2016, we haven't actually involved the students in creating the course themselves, so we hope to do that with this bunch. Um, and then what this, why this is a practice of ORI, I think, um, is very obvious besides the grand societal challenge that it's addressing with future farming and food supplies and um, uh, sustainability. There's also uh, the process of uh, collaboration and early collaboration as early as possible. Um, and that's something that in Ireland in general, we are seeing more of, I believe. Um, at the moment, we offer over 900 courses to a student who's about to enter uh, third level, which is overwhelming and unnecessary. So w there's been some great initiatives in Maynooth um, to control that and make more broad learning, broad learning offered um, instead at such a long, young age and then specialize later, not to specialize when you're uh, 21 or uh, 20, which is the age of most people going into college. Um, so streamlining that. Um, open access and data. Well, we were quite good at open access, um, again, I believe. Um, so uh, SFI, the National Funding Agency for Research in Ireland, um, and the EPA, and uh, all the colleges have signed a uh, practice to have open access. The thing that they're lacking is open data, um, and that's something uh, that hasn't been a conversation that hasn't even been started really in Ireland. We don't, we haven't talked about the societal impacts that sharing data can have. Um, so that's something that we want to facilitate in the gallery, but not produce ourselves because we are not the experts in that. And I think again, for ORI, we need to recognize where we're not the experts and be able to facilitate those who are. Um, so Kildare Street, which is a website which aims to make it easy for people to keep up to date with um, lawmaking and uh, representations in government. Uh, we're in consultation with them about having them come in and explain to the general public what it is that's important about having uh, open data. And then in relation to open access, we need our colleges to become more accessible to everybody. Um, so there's different initiatives in each college. Um, and I can speak from experience, because I wouldn't have gone to college without those people who work there, that uh, they are vastly important and probably undermined. Uh, the Trinity Access Programme has been working since 1993. Uh, and instead of just addressing those who might not be able to make it in college financially, they go to primary level students as well and um, start introducing the idea that you can go to college from a very, very early age um, and peer-to-peer -peer learning as well to get that to spread further, that they're not going to be exceptional 
um, by doing this, it just should be offered to them. Um, and then this is the, the really uh, important thing that's happening at the moment, is a conversation about who decides the scientific uh, research future in Ireland. Um, and uh, the answer should be obvious that it, it should be everybody, um, but that doesn't really seem to be the case. Uh, so this is uh, a letter, apologies that it's not bigger. Um, so yes, uh, this letter was signed by over a thousand science researchers, both at home and from abroad, to uh, ask the government to change their prioritization of science um, and to involve them in it. So uh, in March this year, uh, the Minister for Jobs in Ireland uh, opened a consultation process uh, to have people address what they were going to do to um, scientific funding, which was in Ireland, to make it go into 14 narrow areas, which basically omitted uh, basic research um, with no mentions of astrophysics and neuroscience. Um, and then what, um, this uh, research uh, strategy would be uh, implemented then later this year uh, for five to six years. Um, and I think what obviously what the government was planning on doing uh, is not an example of ORI, and I think we can all uh, see that very easily. And the reason why, I, why I'm talking about it is because I think it's amazing that over a thousand scientists have come together in a very short period of time and signed this letter. Um, and it should be noted that they're from all across the disciplines and they're engaging on this together. But if they were engaging on it together, that would not be enough. Obviously, it played out in the public sphere a little bit too. And it got a conversation going that's still going now. Um, and hopefully, it will end in everybody being able to decide the, the future. Um, yeah. Uh, and then uh, gender uh, equality, just as uh, someone mentioned from the experimentarium, I think, earlier. Uh, gender equality is a policy. It should not be. Um, uh, something nice that we we do and we include uh, it, it should be there should be rules about it um, and I think we need to recognize how much we've done in a short period of time so only a uh, hundred years ago we started uh, having females be able to come to third level uh, in Ireland and now we have uh, more of a representation uh, of females undergraduates over the whole of every single course in Ireland um, but so that's great, and we applaud ourselves for that. So uh, I think it's 67% of undergraduates are females. Uh, but when you go up higher in the scheme, that's where things look a little bit scary. So um, only 21% of professors and associate professors in Irish universities are females. And it gets even smaller and smaller with uh, no head of uh, college uh, being a female in Ireland at the moment. And that's something that we uh, need to change. So it's recognizing that it has to go all the way up. Um, so like ORI bottom to all the way to the top. Um, I think I'm racing through this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't want to go over at all. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going very slow. Two minutes. Um, and then lastly, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, uh, a redesign in the education system for uh, junior cert uh, studies. So people who, uh, from 12 to 15 when they're in secondary schools, they're going to implement a, a new um, science curriculum which is going to go away from teaching to the exam to um, informal learning and discovery learning, which is something that we're very excited about and we've uh, been a part of for a little bit. So we're going to be offering um, teachings uh, from our experience to, to the teachers who are going to be implementing um, this. And the only worry, because we, this, again, it is a great example of ORI, but that it doesn't stop there and that it's adapted into the Leaving Cert and then into college again. Um, yes, so uh, thank you. <laughs>